Hey guys, it's your girl Secret D with yesterday's strawberry letter response. So this lady writes in, she says she's 48, single, divorced. She said her niece helped her do her profile for a dating site. She said she used a real picture, but her niece told her to lie about her interest so she can get a good looking man. So she put that she works out, um, which says she likes to travel and something else that was like an active lifestyle type thing. She said the app matched her with an older gentleman who worked out. She said he was not cute. He had a nice body. And so she started dating, right? So fast forward, she said they were dating for six weeks and everything was going good. They were getting to know each other. She said that he asked her to do some type of charity like run or something like that. And she said yes. She said she said yes because she didn't know how to say no. So he suggested they start working out together to prepare. She said they went to the gym and it was obvious that she didn't know what the hell she was doing. And she lied again and told him that she doesn't really work out anymore. She does yoga instead. So she said after the gym, she said she worked out so hard, she had a headache. And so they went back to his place and he suggested they got in the shower together. So she said she was nervous because he would know for sure that she does not work out because she looks better in clothes than she does naked. She said the shower was uncomfortable and she knew he figured out that she lied about working out by the way he looked at her body. When they got out the shower, they took it straight to the bed. She said that he bent her leg in a way that it wasn't supposed to bend and she is currently in pain. So she is basically saying that she's too out of shape with him and she's scared to have sex with him again because she's in pain and she wants to know how she can fix it so that she gets to keep her man and no she said she lied and ended up with a man that's too good to be true so she wants advice on how to fix it so she ain't afraid and so she ain't gotta do all this shit that she obviously can't do without losing the man. So she wants advice. Honestly speaking, I don't understand why people lie about things that can be verified. Like if you want somebody that looks a certain way, then just say that. Um, you could have, you would have been better off saying, "Oh, I prefer someone that works out." Da 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 da. Because I'm on a fitness journey, and I'm gonna start working out, and I need somebody who knows what they're doing, who can help guide me. See, better. So, I don't know. I don't have no advice here. I really don't see the big deal about it. I don't know why she lied, but now that you did lie, you got this muscular man who obviously is in better shape than you. There's no way to fix it. Get in better shape or just tell him, like, listen, I lied. I don't work out. Da -da -da -da, and see how it goes. Come clean. Um, those are the only two options. Get in better shape or come clean. Or do both. Because it would be nice if you came clean because I don't like the whole stern relationship on a lie type thing. So... Let me know how y'all feel about it. All right, bye.